Hi everybody, it's Darshini again and uh, we're going to go over a few things here and that is uh, because of some activity that's been reported in regarding the sun and the solar flares. There is a video that I did upload and um, quite frankly it is, and I'll quickly show it to you, uh, it was uploaded on May the 4th 2012 and I will put put a link on this video so you can go to that by the way the video on May 4th was part of part 6 and 7 and um, 6 uh, the one preceding to the actual predictions here uh, were upload uh, number 6 was actually to teach you a few things about the basics of understanding uh, of the Sun and the earth in uh, regarding Sun physics and of course magnet magnetic poles and how CMEs which are coronal mass e e e e sorry <laughs> ejections are which is this and also sol solar flares and sunspots so it's really a brief explanation I always uh, I teach about 84 classes actually 85 and I do like teaching as much as I can as well educating so if, um, we're going back to what NASA has actually uh, found and uh, reported to Reuters and uh, re this is on Yahoo News so we're just going over it so there was a just let you know um, just reading it uh, down below here a solar flare eruption gracefully rose up from the Sun on the 31st night of oops sorry uh, 2012 the eruption extends about a hundred sixty thousand miles from out from the Sun okay we're just going over these photos um, a solar eruption is seen rising up from the Sun uh, this NASA image on December 31st 2012 was released by Reuters um, the uh, let's see magnetic forces um, drive the flow of plasma but without sufficient force to overcome the Sun's gravity much of the plasma falls back into the Sun according to NASA now when it doesn't fall back into and it manage, has enough force uh, to actually escape the Sun's gravity that's what they call a CME which is a coronal mass exodus okay ejection so uh, that's just to let you know here's another shot of it and we're going to go to a video here and I'll keep quiet. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Okay, we'll just put that on hold until that goes. Of course, they have to put ads in. And basically, this is going to be uh, the, what can I tell you, um, the actual overlay. What I'm, why I'm doing this, and I'll shut up, sorry. These spectacular images of a solar flare yesterday, scientists say the red glowing looped material is plasma. It's a hot gas made up of electrically charged hydrogen and helium. Scientists are still trying to figure out what triggers solar eruptions. Now this one was not aimed at the Earth. If it had been, it could have interfered with some radio and satellite transmissions. Now, in case you're wondering, the scale of this event is huge. That flare extended outward from the surface of the sun about 100,000 miles. Okay, so, uh, thank you for your patience on that one. I thought you'd be interested. And here we are again with that, um, not it's an ejection, but it's not a coronal mass. Okay, so. And you can see all kind of sunspots and things like that. All of these dark spots are explained on that first video I told you about. Okay. And now this one, um, I would like to point out, and this is an astrophotographer, Laurie Crowfoot, sent uh, in a photo of herself with an aurora seen in um, something county, anyway, Michigan, along um, the southern coast of Lake Superior. So this was taken on September 30th, okay? Now, if um, why I brought this photo out is because uh, what I had predicted was that, um, and I didn't, I haven't done my research completely yet because I haven't had time, but um, I thought this was interesting. The prediction was that I said that there were going to be certain solar flares um, being emitted 
around about the end of September, mid to end of September, it was late August was one, and another one set was going to be September to October. And um, apparently this falls right there, which is September 30th, where there would have been far more, um, uh, sorry, these, <sighs> trying to, find a better way of talk, talking about it but anyway it's auroras basically so when you see an aurora it is a sun's activity and that is what you're seeing the actual um uh, energy hitting our atmosphere and it converts into these more incredible lights and i did say on another video um i believe that was a predictions video that you around about as as low as um, the top of the United States, bottom of Canada, you will be seeing far more um, at the end of last year to this year, definitely far more auroras uh, as far down as, uh, you know, uh, Buffalo, Lake Superior, but also Canada into that spot. And sure enough, here it is. So it's just a confirmation. And again, this is not to say that there's going to be any kind of um, solar eruptions um, because of the magnetic forces. And again, when you have time, go check the other two videos out because it will teach you why the polar, um, the magnetic forces of the sun and um, actually Earth are totally different and how that reacts. And why we won't get, a, or because there's a solar flare, it doesn't necessarily affect us. Um, it all depends. So, just moving on. And that's the solar flare. Now, this one was interesting. Uh, why I put this one at 11.24 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, on October 4th, 2012, the sun unleashed a CME, which is a coronal, coronal mass ejection. Boy, oh, rent lips today. Okay, so again, um, on that previous video, which I will be putting a link in here on this video, I had again predicted that round about, um, let's see, end of October, uh, September, which is what you saw on the Aurora, but also around October, end of September, October, you will be seeing flares and other things and ejections. So you could see that there are and again it it depends on the relation of where we are i'm not going to go back into it i don't want to waste time on that but basically we're going to you you're going to experience it and see far more of it um so this is what it is the relative size of it and again thanks to all these pictures are from nasa so you can see how small earth is or the um, well, Earth obviously is smaller than the Sun, but also it doesn't necessarily mean that it is going towards that. So um, what I will say, though, that we are in, and again, I have taught people, if they want to be taught, about the other, about the Sun's activity and what CMEs are, etc., etc., and dark spots and sunspots. But basically... Um, because of where you are, they where the ejections are is how we're going to be counter affected. All right. Uh, what I do see, in addition, we are also, and and in that video it explains it that we're in solar max phase. 2013 is when we are in solar max, not solar minimum. Uh, we actually entered a, a highly, a far more highly volatile stage of the sun's not evolution but transition so these kind of um, solar flares cmes and all the sunspots are going to actually be far more um on higher frequency i see that may uh round about ooh, it'll start flaring up a bit more in activity round about april but the end of may you will see some more more or less spectacular uh, flares like this uh, then by november um, you will see far more i have put other dates down but i kept keep on seeing november as well and uh, really it falls uh, the solar max phase even though 
it, you can't say it's a year because they, they still don't know, but I see it extending into February of 2014. So you can look out for that, but really there's nothing, as I explained in that previous video on May 4th, that there's nothing really that's going to hit directly to Earth. In other words, a projectile um, being a CME right to Earth and then really affecting our uh, electrical, any of our electrical appliances, which I know a few people think that's a great uh, thing, but it isn't. So um, it's up to you, check your facts. Do your own research. As I always say, don't trust me. Um, I believe you should. And these are uh, predictions which are not necessarily any, everything can change because energy is, obviously this is energy in a raw form. I mean, a very physical form too. But everything, the, how I read and what I see is energy and it can for change. But um, I have been nearly um, nearly on the ball on that one. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. The next video that I'll be uploading, number seven of seven, uh, coincidentally on um, this one, that I've been going through all the others and that's predictions throughout Europe, Asia, uh, America, South American continent, etc., etc. Um, I'm going to do a review because, quite frankly, some of them already come true. And um, again, it's just a review and I might be adding more stuff on the politics, I hate to say it, about Europe. So if you want to join me, you're welcome to. Thank you. And um, just a last minute thing, negative comments, vicious comments are not going to be posted. If it's the constructive, they will be. Hopefully you enjoy this year. Keep safe. There's lots of more information on the channel. If you want to be updated or every time I do a prediction or an upload, um, please join the channel and then you'll be updated immediately. Thanks again. Have a good year and a safe one. Take care.